get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, in case you haven't noticed already, look where we're at. You know where we are, guys? We're in the everyday kitchen. That's right, guys, the everyday kitchen. Why do I call it the everyday kitchen? Look at it. It's an ugly old kitchen, needs remodeling, updating, things torn out, new things, it's all outdated. It, it's an everyday kitchen guys that's why we call it the everyday kitchen what are we gonna do today well if you didn't notice in the title if you didn't notice in the description or in the thumbnail if you just blindly clicked on this video let me show you what we're gonna do come on let's show you come on here we go we are gonna make some That's right, guys. I'm going to try and make some little breaded pork chop looking things. What are they? They're called ribeye chops. Pork loin boneless ribeye chops. And they're outdated, but I don't care. We're not going to worry about that because this is the everyday kitchen. We don't care. So... All right, now I'm not great at this, but uh, we're gonna do the best we can do. <laughs> uh, I've only breaded things about two, three times my whole life, so. I'm scared. Oh my God. That's all right, we're gonna make it. Let's get the camera down here. Where's we can take a look at what we're gonna do. You might not see my pretty face, but it's okay, you're gonna see the pretty food. Let's go. All right, we're gonna break some eggs. See if we can get some egg going on here. Okay. Double dipping, guys. Double dipping. All right, guys. You see the process in which I'm doing that? Dipping it in the egg, putting it in the flour, putting it back in the egg, getting some crumbs, and there you go. That's the process that I'm doing. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I'm just doing it. All right, guys. I finally got all those little porky, choppy looking little things breaded and ready to go. Check them out. Not bad, huh? Well, let's go over here and see if we can drop them in some oil. 
Before we drop those little pork choppy dealios into the oil, let's do one more thing. I'm making some of this nice little pre-packaged broccoli cheddar rice stuff. We eat that pretty often. Uh, it's okay stuff. Of course, it's not healthy, but broccoli makes you think it is healthy, and rice is not bad for you either. I'm not doing it on the oven, on the stove. I'm just going to put some water in here and get it nice and hot. Three minutes ought to do it. I've got some Brussels sprouts that we're going to do. Now these are nice and healthy for you. Plain Brussels sprouts, no butters, no nothing that are on there. I am, however, going to put butter. But it's my own butter. So that makes it okay. Little bitty pan, nice new pan. My son got us a new set of pans and what have you for Christmas. All right. Like that. We'll put that about right there. Now, let's get it going. Now, one thing you want to remember, guys, is anytime that you're putting anything in oil, uh, no matter what it is, uh, the more you, the more food that you put in the oil, uh, the cooler that the oil gets. So in this case, I'm only putting four of the little pork chop dealios. Why am I calling them pork chop dealios? I don't know. Anyway, only put four in there at a time. Uh, my oil has been on uh, for a while since I. Even before I started the video, it's been on kind of nice, kind of low medium, and uh, so I'm just gonna cook them at a nice slow pace like that. I went ahead and put the timer uh, on like four minutes, and I'm gonna try and do it like four minutes on each side, see how that does, and we'll go from there. I got the Brussels sprouts going, and the broccoli cheddar rice dill stuff. Dill, dill, God. Anyway, it'll be done here in a minute. All right, we're doing our first flip. We do have four done. Now I don't know how perfectly cooked they are, but I'm gonna check to see. And we're gonna check it together so I don't do any sleight of hand to make you think I'm perfect. So let's get the camera down here. And just like that, boys and girls, we find out that I think it needs to cook longer. I don't know if it's supposed to be white or that color. But just in case, once I get these done, I'm going to stick those back in for an extra couple of minutes. Because I don't want to eat uh, pork that's not fully cooked. And you don't either, or you'll be pooping worms. <laughs> Uh, you didn't hear that on the Everyday Kitchen. Alright. 
We'll get back to you in just a moment, guys. guys we're finished looks like a gourmet meal my guys looks like a gourmet meal guys a special meal calls for a special plate I'm gonna use glass glass is class baby Look at that. Good looking meal, guys. Let's see how she tastes. Let's see how the food tastes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice and crisp and crunchy. Mm. Rice is good. More prepackaged rice. how pretty easy it is to, to uh, bread some little pork chops, pork steaks, pork rounds, pork whatever you want to call them. You could probably bread bacon. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Everyday Kitchen. I got outside my comfort zone just a little bit and did that breading. Like I said, I've only breaded things maybe two or three times in my life. A couple of times it didn't maybe work out so well, a couple of times maybe did. So I even think I have something on my everyday kitchen playlist of where I do bread something. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Hope I learned a little something. Uh, check out all my videos, all the playlists. Everything's in playlists, just a bunch of stuff you'd enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed this new episode of the everyday kitchen I don't know I gotta do some sort of martial arts in my everyday kitchen I just feel compelled to do it so guys get up get out get ready do it to it and please enjoy your night your tomorrow your life smile be a positive influence to others just enjoy life. All right. We'll see y'all later. I'll fix and eat this and probably a little more. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready to do it, do it.